media babes welcome welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i take out my butterfly distress locks because as you can see they look very bad like you can see the braids like they're starting to come unravel they're moving down everything like that so yeah these just need to come out they were a nice cute little style for you know a little bit i haven't had them in for that long i think i had them in for about a month or so so really not that long check out my last video on when i show you the pros and the cons and you can see why really this style really wasn't it for me realistically but it was really cute so if you like to see how i take it down no damage no anything not that difficult then just keep on watching okay so the things that ooh, i'm gonna use are really just some scissors right now there's really not much that i think i'll need if so i'll show you but as you can see for one like this like it's pretty much already unraveled and if your locks are longer than your hair then this is going to be way easier because all you gotta do is really cut it do it up and everything like that but what i personally do is for a lot of my locks if you have locks like mine i'm able to just push it down like the part that i wrapped around my hair i'm able to just push it down and it turns into the like longer piece and as it's in the longer piece i look for where my hair is which is about right here so i cut way lower than that just because i don't want to cut my hair cut it and then we'll just unravel like so and since my hair is in like the uh plaits under this style is going to be easy to even take care of my natural hair. I'm not going to take the plaits out right now because like I said, I've only had these in for like a month. I typically like to leave my protective styles in for about two months, but obviously this style just wasn't cutting it. So I'm probably just going to put a cap on and just wear my wigs under this or who knows, maybe I like the way it looks. Maybe I like the way it looks after all the hair is taken out and just wear it like that who knows my preference i don't know but as you can see it's super easy to take it out if you have um if your hair is like as long as your locks i don't recommend obviously cutting it and if you are gonna cut it i really recommend cutting trying to like go through the loop that you made to seal the uh locks and then take it out that way but other than that i really don't know why people were saying they're extremely hard to take out or breakage and stuff like seriously just take your time like this shouldn't and that's what any style like if you take your time it's not your hair shouldn't break your hair shouldn't be falling out like it it, it really shouldn't be that hard of a process and if it is then i mean something was wrong if the style was put in wrong you weren't taking care of your hair or you were just being too rough so that caused your hair to break and do that but a lot of people forget that your hair has been up for like a month or two months and your hair shreds about 100 strands a day so all that hair not having somewhere to go your hair is going to maybe look like it's breaking when it's really just shedded hair it shouldn't hurt though like it, re it really shouldn't hurt and you shouldn't force anything either but as you can see oof, it's real easy real simple i actually don't even think that it would take this long either for some of my twists i can't really push it down like i probably was going to be able to because it's just not working that well but like i said my hair doesn't go all the way to the end of my twist so i don't even mind cutting like half the twist off i, I feel like i'll still be fine but definitely try that method where you just push your hair down to where the obviously fake hair is longer than your real hair. So when you cut it, you know for a fact you're only cutting your real hair. You know, you don't want to cut, you know, your hair. Cause I mean, unless that's what you want, but a lot of people typically, that's not what they want. But anyway, I'm just going to most likely, I thought I'd cut my hair. I didn't but um but anyway I'm just gonna most likely speed this up as I do a few more and then you know 
will come back after it's all done. My edges and my roots look crazy. Like I really gotta get that under control, but. Okay, as I'm taking down this twist, like, there's a bunch of knots in it, and maybe that's what people mean when they were saying, like, oh, it's difficult and all that stuff, but I try to find, like, the root of where it's tangling at, and obviously see, like, if my hair isn't there, like, if you have shorter hair, it's a lot easier to do this, and then I just try to cut it where the knot is just so that it'll be easier to take out, and I guess that's maybe why people were saying, like, oh, this is difficult to take out because you're taking it out. And this hair can get very nappy as you separate it and everything. But even still, like that's a small, um, you know, flaw. These really don't take that long to take out and they're not that bad. But I know some people were cutting it out at the root. I'm not about to be trying that because I'm so afraid that I'll cut my hair and I don't have time. Okay, so if you are bold enough and you get to a certain part of your uh, hair and you want to just cut it out, I mean, you can. As you can see, like this right here, this part, not this part, but this braid right here, if you can kind of see it, this is where my hair is. So what I would do is I'd cut off this side and then just boom able to pull it off so like I said if you feel a little confident and if you can tell like okay this is my hair this isn't my hair then I definitely recommend even doing that because it's a lot easier to do but you still should probably take it down at least a little bit so that you don't accidentally cut your hair like some people were going like full lock at the root cut take out like I'm I'm not that bold I'm I'm, I'm really not All right, meaty babes, so I have taken out all of the crochet here. It is quite a lot, like minus the pieces that are falling. But um, that's it. I didn't have any breakage, any damage. You see, I have a nice little thing of the new girls. My hair looks so crazy right now. But um, we have come to the end of today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so this is how my hair is looking. This is all the new growth. I don't really have any buildup because I haven't really had to style for a while. I feel like for there to really be any buildup in the first place. I'm trying to figure out how like I want to just wear them for the remainder of this video, but it wasn't that hard to take out these uh these locks really like a lot of people i feel like were over hyping it it really wasn't that bad but 
I don't really have any breakage, or at least, you know, my hair. I didn't cut any of my hair or anything. Like, it, it seemed pretty easy to do. So that's one thing that I like. It took me way faster. Like, this was the fastest style that I've ever taken out of my head to be honest but anyway we have come to the end of today's video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified when i upload another video